Polygon Matic for the past two days has been seeing higher prices, breaking through significant key areas of resistances above the 0.4327 and above the 0.5156, flipping those key areas back into support. And at the time of this recording, we are now attempting to see a break above the 20-day MA here on the one-hour chart to flip it back into support. And we have been seeing higher prices in what I have been terming as an additive count three in a move that has now fully hit our minimum target areas to the upper side in that additive count three. And on today's video, I will be discussing my breakout target areas and significant pullback target areas that you need to have in mind. And starting the video here on the one hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening since the 5th of August when we saw a massive breakdown move giving us a low below the 0 0.3363 we started a very nice recovery to the upside where we first picked in this additive count one and after getting the high for that additive count one we started a bit of a pullback in the formation of this additive count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area we almost fully maximized the area before we started our aggressive bounce to the upside in the formation of this larger additive count three, whose minimum target area I gave you by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that additive count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618 and that perfectly lies above the 0 0.5182, which is an area that you have not fully maximized. And there are high chances that in case in the next coming hours, we continue to see that bullish momentum, we are going to see an extended additive count three, taking us to the next target area on the Fibonacci, which is the Fib level 2.618. And that perfectly lies above the 0 0.55, the 0 0.5999. So there are high chances that in the next coming hours, once we continue to see that bullish momentum, we are going to easily get above the 0 0.6 mark in the next coming hours. Also remember that since we have fully maximized our minimum target areas at the FIB level 1.618, there are also high chances that we now have a high in place in this additive count 3. And in the next coming hours, there are chances of seeing a bit of a short-term pullback in this additive count four, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave to the high of that additive count three that we have at the moment, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.5. And that perfectly lies between the 0 0.4856 and the 0 0.4668, which is the area over here. And once we fully maximize that target area, then we can expect another bounce back to the upside in this additive count five, getting us back above the 0 0.6 mark in the next coming hours or maybe days. So that is the price action that I'm expecting on the short term here on the Polygon Matic chart. And I've given you uh, the significant pullback target areas that you need to have in mind. And the, for the pullback movement to play out, we also need to watch for support at the 0 0.5156. Cause if by any chance we lose this key area of support, then that will be confirming the start of that breakdown move, getting us into this blue target area over here. So that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the Matic chart for the next coming hours. And that's all for this video and I hope to catch you on the next one.